Um, how does this play out for you and how important do you think it is for tradition to change, to survive or to stay the same? Uh, Nonita, I'm not very sure if I made the sari modern, but what I've done is I've… You've made I've it relevant. Probably made it relevant to a lot of people who were probably seeking the sari. Uh, you know, when I look at the internet right now and what's happening to the world outside, I just see that everybody's talking the same language, wearing the same clothes, eating the same food. So we've become just one big globalized tribe. And what happens with, you know, I look at the world as pre-internet and post-internet. And when I look at the world post-internet, I just realize that there's a collective consciousness of people that is speaking the same language. And when that happens, you automatically know by default that individualism is going to become the next big luxury. It's going to be celebrated. So we were talking about beauty the other day and somebody said that, you know, for women, they, you know, women spend so much money for uniqueness. Like if you ask women that, you know, you want to buy a dress, the first question that she's going to turn around and ask you is, at least in couture, is that how many people are you making the dress for? So you, basically what you want to do is you want to have something that is yours and nobody else's. But then you don't understand something that as an individual, you're the, as a human being, you're probably the only unique thing in the whole world because you're as unique as who you are and there's nobody else quite like you. So when you start celebrating yourself, you have a point of view and you have the luxury of calling yourself unique and you have a point of view which is your own. So when I look at, when I look at a globalized world today, I think a lot of us right now are fighting for individualism, we are fighting for individual identity and, and I think returning back to your roots, addressing something that's closer to who you are is going to become the order of the day. I don't think I could have made the sari popular if it was not in the collective consciousness of people to go back and discover their own roots. And it didn't happen because of me, it didn't happen because of a political propaganda. It just happened because society, you know, when society moves a certain way, uh, it's a very cyclic order. After some time, it has to move the other way again to retain balance. So at one point of time, if globalization was the big thing, now individualism by default is becoming the next big thing.